haven't checked in in ages. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I had to go back into hospital to get my hole in my leg cleaned out because after surgery, one of the stitches didn't dissolve, um, and then I got an abscess in my leg and it created this massive hole in my leg. Anyway, um, so that is that. But um, I've just moved and I've moved out of home and now I'm living in Sydney. Anyway, so, oh, can we get some light back here, please? Thank you. Okay. I woke up this morning and I was like, I need to do a YouTube video. I haven't done one in so long, for one. And two, I'm now feeling inspired that I don't want to do any more sitting YouTubes, except for occasionally, because sometimes there's a lot of content to get through. I want to do more, like, I'm walking around doing stuff, and I'm going to just take you guys along with me so that you can see what I'm actually doing. It saves me time, and it's more interesting for you. And I will do a video on... Once my leg is better, like a full recap of everything I did and like how I reduced full body inflammation because I've got a lot of inflammation in my body and like cortisol stress stuff. Anyway, so one of my biggest things that I talk about in my client coaching sessions, client coaching, my coaching sessions with my clients is bloating. I'm pretty sure every single girl on this planet has experienced bloating and if you haven't, then good on you. Um, but yeah, so I want to show you guys because I always get asked this question and I always talk about it and at least this way if I tell you guys then those people that aren't being coached by me can still get the good info. So I'm going to go through my top tips for reducing bloating. Um, just a few things that you can do each day that really, really help me either before I've gotten bloated to prevent bloating or when I am bloated. All the good things. So I'm going to show you what I do. The first thing, and not all of you are going to have access to this, but if you want to get access to this, then make sure that you message me. Um, you can email me at hello, hello at monarchyates.com.au and I will send you the details. But there is this amazing, amazing essential oil called Digest Zen. Okay, there you go. Digest Zen. It is from doTERRA. It's fucking amazing. You stick it on your stomach. One minute you're like a freaking nine month old, nine month pregnant whatever woman. Next minute you're freaking flat as a pancake. It's so good. That is the first thing I recommend. You can put it in tea, you can put it in water, you can take it in a capsule or um, you can rub it straight on your belly when you are bloated. That is number, number one for when you are already bloated and you're like, I really need to decrease this bloating. That is number one thing. I did it the other night because I ate something and it just didn't sit well in my stomach. I don't know why. Okay, that's one thing. Whoa. Okay, I might just put these blinds down. Please excuse the mess, but I was really tired last night. I really couldn't be bothered cleaning everything up. Come on. Fuck. I don't know how to work these old fashioned blinds. Hello. Okay. Is this any better? Now I have like some zebra stripe on me. Okay. Second thing that you must, must take. Apple cider vinegar. Okay. This brand is really good. You always want to make sure that it has the mother in it. So apple cider vinegar helps your stomach get more acidic which is really important for when you're actually eating food. So if you find that before you eat food, you get bloated, then I would definitely recommend taking some apple cider vinegar in a shot glass or in some water before you eat your food to help your stomach, especially if you find that when you eat meat or protein, that it's harder to digest. I feel like there's no possible way to get a good angle on this camera. Whatever. Okay, if you find the apple cider vinegar is really disgusting, which is fair enough, it's pretty acidic, um, you can take it in shot glasses and then you drink water straight after or what you can do so after I was in hospital most recently for my last surgery I obviously want to detox my body ASAP so the thing that I actually did was take apple cider vinegar in, in water all day every day for like 10 days and it worked really really well for detoxifying um, and reducing bloating from all those fucking drugs. So the most helpful was using mineral water, pouring it into a glass with some apple cider vinegar. Okay, you're gonna shake your apple cider vinegar really, really well. You wanna make sure that it has the mother in it, which makes it cloudy. That is the good stuff. You're gonna pour a bit of apple cider vinegar in there. You can pour less if you want, but I like, I like lots. And then pour some mineral water in there. Now, Doing it with the mineral water makes it taste like a cider, so it tastes shit tons better, and you can actually drink a whole entire glass of it. Oh, if you get bloated 
around PMS time, so in your luteal phase, before you get your period, then, and it's because of estrogen, you haven't actually effectively flushed out your estrogen from ovulation. So that's when you want to be eating lots of healthy greens and, and um, lots of veggies to help flush out your estrogen from ovulation. So if you find that you get bloated around PMS, definitely make sure you're eating enough vegetables and then do all these tips as well. Okay, the next thing, I can't actually show you because I don't have it with me, but, um, it's at home, I left it at home, but my number, another number one, they're all freaking number ones, another number one thing is if I'm bloated, if I have a piece of gelatin, so my Choc Maca gummies from my Sweets ebook, they're super easy to make, they take me like literally less than five minutes to make, and um, if you have one of them when you're bloated, my bloating goes away straight away, it's the weirdest thing, I'll have one square of it, and it just goes away immediately. And it's because of the actual gelatin in it. So gelatin is super, super good for your gut. It's anti-inflammatory. It's all that good stuff, like collagen. So if you're not having, you know, tons of gelatin from, like, slow-cooked meats and stuff, and gelatin is when you, like, have, like, a broth and it's really, like, um, calculated. It's, like, jelly. That's the gelatin. So um, having that... And making it into like little cubes that are really yummy with chocolate and macro and stuff are super super good and they help my bloating tons so that's another one and you can get the recipe in my sugar free sweets ebook which i will link below and um it's on my website as well it's super cheap um so i would highly highly recommend making that like every week if you find that you get bloated especially if you find that um it's really good if you come home from work and you're like a little bit peckish and hungry, but you still have to wait for dinner. It's perfect. It makes your hunger go away, but it doesn't make you full. So it's like the most perfect little pre-dinner snack thing because it doesn't actually like fill you up, but it just makes the hunger cravings go away. It's perfect. So that is my next tip. Okay, so I've just prepared some food because I'm going to go to the library. I don't have any clients today, so I'm going to... Um, which is kind of great because it means I can go to the library and um, do heaps and heaps of work because I have so much study and other work to do for my other, other businesses. So I'm popping that in to take with me for lunch. But, dot but, and the next thing I'm going to show you is since doing this like trial of no bulletproof and how I'm feeling and whatnot because my kinesiologist, we found out that my body doesn't actually love me having bulletproof for breakfast sad face um because they're so yummy anyway so i'm having eggs every morning again like i used to but what i've noticed is that i don't like to have big meals in the morning anymore because it kind of makes me sleepy and it does make my stomach feel quite heavy like after having basically you fasted for i fasted for like 14 hours um sometimes longer so shoving a big meal in first thing in the morning isn't the greatest thing for my stomach and it can make me bloated so what i've been doing lately and i know it's going to seem like a really small meal especially compared to the big meals i usually have but all i've been doing is two scrambled eggs with heaps of coconut oil a little bit of kale i'm going to show you how i do it um but it's like it fills me up until lunchtime, but it doesn't make me feel overly full and it keeps my stomach flat feeling good and um yeah and I'm really trying to not stress my body out because I have a lot of inflammation right now since all these hospital visits and all these drugs I've been on and all the stress that I've been under with my accident. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so in my pot, this is a really bad ankle, but I'm filming it as well on my thingy. In my pot, I'm adding about two tablespoons of coconut oil. So two tablespoons of coconut oil, about that. Yes, it's a lot, but it's so good.
have, guys, is that when you do go to eat, you want to make sure that you're eating mindfully, which means don't look at your phone, don't be watching TV at the same time, don't be reading a book, just be eating your beautiful food that you've made and focus on how much it's nourishing your body. Because the problem is that when you're doing two things at once, your brain doesn't actually realize that you are eating. So then your brain's not ready to eat, so your body's not ready to eat. And if your body's not ready to eat, then your um, stomach's not making enough acid. So basically you start shoving in this food and your stomach's like, wait, I didn't know food was coming, oh my God, and it's not ready, and then you get bloated. So you wanna make sure that your brain and your body is ready to have the food by making sure that you are fully aware of what you're eating, you're focusing on what you're eating, and if possible, cook or prepare food beforehand because that action of doing that, the smelling, all that sort of stuff stimulates your body and lets your body know food is coming so it starts to get ready and this is the final product for my lunch so I just put all the veggies in a container with a whole pile of spinach on the bottom I chopped out some organic cucumber and um, always try and get your cucumber organic if possible half an avo some um, activated pistachios and activated pepitas olive oil salt and pepper boom done putting that in my bag and I'm now heading off to the library <laughs> So I just got back from the library. Oh, the light is really bad. I haven't turned the lights on. I've worked for eight hours today, longer actually, non-stop, just sitting down and kicking ass trying to get all the work done. But I realized there's one of the main things of how to deep bloat, how to get rid of any stomach issues that I haven't talked about yet. And I mentioned this in my Instagram story and I said that I would do a review of it and I am gonna do a review of it right now. Gut right. Get your gut right. It's from ATP Science. They're like the legit, I trust them with my life. Like, I'm not even joking. I asked the guy like, about everything in my leg. That thing is incredible. So I'm going to try and get like a better background, but basically um, it's not a probiotic. It's not a prebiotic. It's a mod biotic. So what actually, I didn't know this. Probiotics and lactobacillus and, every, lactobacillus and everything that's in um, yogurt was actually created after the war to make everybody fat because everyone was so skinny, nobody could eat any food because they could afford any food and there wasn't enough food to go around. That's why they created it. So, you shouldn't be taking a whole pile of probiotics because not only are you feeding the bad bugs, not only are you feeding the good bugs, you're also feeding the bad bugs. So this product, what it actually does is, in short, you can read all about it, I'll link it below. Basically, it kills off all of those bad bugs and it feeds all of the good bugs. And then all you, so all you do is you take that three times a day for 10 days with a really healthy diet and your gut will like just clear up so well. And, um, and then after that, you can take it once a day or whenever um, for as long as you would like. It's not a laxative, you're not going to like shit your pants. Um, your poos, my poos were really smelly, which is a good thing because it means all the bad bugs were coming out. And there's a lot of dead bacteria in me, which I'm not surprised because I had them after the antibiotics and after all my leg stuff, so I'm glad that happened. Other people get no symptoms from it, they don't get really smelly poos or really massive ridiculous poos, um, which is good because it means their gut was pretty good. But yeah. Just get it, it's incredible, um, it's all natural, all good, and um, they also have their podcast, and they talk about it on their podcast, I'll link them below as well, so you can get all the information from them. And that is my top, I don't know how many tips that was, tips for reducing bloating that I do, not every day, just when I feel like I need to do it, and when I remember to do it, because we're all human at the end of the day. Um, but please subscribe to my channel so that I keep making these videos, which I will anyway, but please hit subscribe and tell me what you guys want to see. Please like the video so more people see it. I really want to spread my message um, and keep it real. So please do that, and I will see you later.